Hello, everybody, and welcome to Deco In Between, where we talk about the in between, the butt cracks of fashion and what they don't want you to know. Well, Chanel doesn't want us to know that they're going to blast us with a price increase imminently, darling. Hmm. Subscribe to my channel here on the tubes. Thumb up this video. I live stream every Saturday and you are welcome to join the live streams. Hit it. Ah, here we go. Hello, everybody. So join me every Saturday for live stream. We're going to be talking Chanel price increase. So you guys, what we know thus far. Now, if anybody of y'all knows any more info, now is the time to type away. Tickle, tickle. Tickle. I'm tickling Debbie. Debbie's addicted. Caroline, good night, sweetie. Little good night tickle to you. Hello, Facta. Little perfumed tickle to you. Win testy. Brockstar, just yapping. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay. Chanel is uh, is going to F us up with another price increase on their baglets. So it's 2022 and they is going to get done a price increase. Now, what is going to happen this time around, which is going to happen in January, allegedly, so they say, uh, it's going to happen in all the bags that were not increased last price increase, which was in November. So. Boy bag, Gabrielle bag, 19 bag. Who cares about those bags? I, honestly, I don't even, I don't understand why would anybody still want to buy them at full price in a boutique? The boy bag, get yourself a used boy bag. I mean, ugh, girl, anyway. What um, is relevant to me is the price increase of the minis. Yep, you heard it. The rectangular minis and the square minis. Now, they cost so much, I think, that Chanel has right about outpriced themselves out of the market with the minis. In fact, that's why the last price increase in November, the minis were not affected because they knew it's way over the top. I mean, we're talking over $4,000 for some... No, just no. Sorry, no. Now... When they, yeah, Suzy Q, I can't stand the boy bag. I can't either. And if you really wanted for novelty reasons, get yourself a used one. And I say be playful about it. Get it from the 2016 collection, the airplane collection, the airport collection. Get it in, in that vinyl plasticky material that looks like a toy. Then it kind of makes sense because it's a joke and it's kind of self-referential as a joke. Then I get it. But getting a full price black lambskin leather, you know, classic boy bag today in a boutique, you got to be crazy. Add a bit more money and get yourself a timeless classic. Honestly, because it's such a waste. Of, you guys, no. Anyway, the minis, the rectangular mini, the square mini, um, they, they're, they're going to go over 4,500 at this point and or even four thousand seven hundred uh, dollar dollars, and in euro they are what was the rectangular last time I checked three thousand nine hundred or three thousand eight three thousand eight hundred for the rectangular. So, so this price increase they're going to go up to four three to four five. That's like what the hell is this? <laughs> it's I I would just stop buying. I mean Chanel. Congratulations. Um, you wanted people to stop overbuying your shit. How about they stop buying it altogether? How's that going to look for you, Chanel? Huh? Be happy then when nobody buys your stuff anymore. Because it's getting it's getting a little tired. It's getting a little tired, to be honest with you. Tired. Hey, Frozen Luxury quickly takes boy bag out of the fashion file cart. Frozen Luxury, take it out of the fashion file cart and, and forget about it. Forget about it. Um, now... Listen to this, you guys. It gets worse. Um, of course, we're kind of sad that the fashion side of things, bags, is getting a, a price increase. But in America, we've just experienced a price increase of their Les Exclusives fragrances. Now for, and this just happened, and I told you it was going to happen, beginning of the year, like clockwork. They're going to up the prices. These little babies are now $400. $400. Yep. 
for a bottle. Plus tax, obvi. So, depending on where you are, how big your tax, your, you know, state tax is, you might end up paying, I don't know, 10 to 15% on top. Let's say 10% because I'm really bad at math. So, round it up to 10%. So, that is another $40. So, $440 for 200 mil? Are you freaking kidding me, Chanel? That's the price increase for you. So they've just increased the bottle, which means price increase is following also in Europe um, for these. So warning, and I, I keep warning you, and every year you're like, Jacob, you didn't tell us. I always tell you, if you're in Europe, the prices haven't gone up just yet. Get your bottles now. Is there a perfume you like in, in 75 mil from the Les Exclusives? In 200 mil from the Les Exclusives? Gets it now. Otherwise, don't do it. So, there's that. Sublimage and their cream collections have gone up in price the beginning of the year worldwide. Slight price increase. You think you didn't notice it, but it was there. It happened. And also, what they're going to increase is their fashion. Now, when it comes to the fashion, I'm not so sure how this is going to work because I have pre-ordered um, from the Metier Da collection, which is coming out in June. I have pre-ordered uh, one piece. Uh, oh, no. What am I? Well, one piece, piece of clothing. And I was told the price. Now I'm really curious whether or not that price is going to be higher once the collection arrives at the stores. Honestly, if that happens, I'm not going to buy it. I'm, I told my sales associate already. I'm like, if you tell me the price now, I pre-ordered it at that price. Don't come to me six months later and tell me, oh, sorry, Jacob, it's $600 more now. No. I have it black on white. I have my price locked in, you know, I mean, in a text message, but it's locked in. So if when the collection hits the stoves, end of June, and I'm told uh, six hundred dollars more. I'm I'm gonna be like, girl, no, no. You can keep your piece, and uh, that's no, no. Mm -mm. Um, Jack, they don't allow you to prepay for pre-orders for that exact reason, and they don't do it with bags either. They never allow you to prepay because they know that the bag, by the time it arrives, might have a higher price. Yeah, Sharon Cole makes me feel like Chanel hates us. Well, Chanel does kind of hate us because, you know, what happened to me on Instagram is also very interesting. As they're increasing their prices, seems that Chanel has also locked into place a little agreement behind the scenes, allegedly, with Instagram, where they want to allegedly take down all the accounts that use the hashtag Chanel, that use Chanel in their name, that at Chanel too often allegedly to battle counterfeits and um, uh, resellers. But in reality, I think they just want to have this exclusive, only they are allowed to talk about themselves and nobody else is. I'm like, Chanel, get with it, girl. You don't own the world. You behave like a freaking dictator. You can't shut down the whole world just because people make their own visual visuals of, of what Chanel is. You know what I mean? Uh, f f their own photos, their own stories to share about how why they love Chanel and stuff like that. It, it's just, it's, it's, it's become kind of embarrassing, really, their desperation to control everything to a point where, like, they just do these weird things where my Instagram account, dedicated to my Chanel collection, was deleted allegedly for copyright infringement, but I was never officially told. Now, usually when you get a copyright strike or claim, they send you an email and says, this company claims copyright ownership over your content, or this person claims blah, blah, blah. Now, my theory is that Chanel has this kind of higher agreement with Instagram because they spend a pretty penny advertising on Instagram. So, you know, if Instagram wants their money, Instagram has to do what Chanel wants them to do, right? Where they don't have to tell you, I think, this is just my speculation, that Chanel has an agreement with them where they don't have to tell you that they took down your content because Chanel doesn't want 
Instagram to post your content. So entire accounts are disappearing and being deleted. Um, interestingly enough, shortly after my Chanel dedicated account to my personal collection was deleted, which was a private account, you guys. My account was private. It was never public. They took down a private account. A couple of days later, they took down my main account, my Super Jacob account as well, <laughs> which I guess they figured was connected to the other account because I had the same telephone number uh, connected on both. So they deleted that account as well. And now they're probably going to delete whatever other account I open as well. And I have a sneaky suspicion that Chanel is involved. Now, who is going to make a TikTok video on TikTok and make it go viral? We did a wonderful job with the advent calendar as a community. I mean, the lady did it, her TikTok video, uh, and then it blasted, but it worked. Now, could you imagine? Could you imagine if somebody started, somebody influential on TikTok who has a substantial following blasted this about them secretly behind the scenes manipulating numbers and blocking people and deleting accounts. The advent calendar would be nothing compared to that news. Now, we just got to find the right way to share it, <laughs> the right way to distribute it. And we need to go gather more and more proof about this. Because if this is true, if this is happening behind the scenes, behind the scenes and they are silencing people who have an opinion and who want to share their collection, then, then really, I know Instagram is a privately owned company and they can delete whatever the hell they want to delete, but there's a limit to everything. I do believe that governments should also step in at a certain point if a company has so much power and can be weaponized like Instagram world to people who don't know. Instagram and Facebook are the same company. All are now meta. We saw what happened with the power and weaponizing of Facebook in the 2016 election. Now, Instagram has that power too. So, how do we regulate that? Should Instagram be allowed to delete accounts that, for example, like my, my account exists since nine years? And obviously there was no issue with my account for nine years and all of a sudden it's gone. Like, come on, you got to step up your game, Instagram. You're already dying out as a platform because all my friends who have teenage kids, none of their teenage kids use Instagram. They don't care. Instagram is for us idiots who, who were raised between the beginning of Internet and the kind of the beginning of social media who are the victims of consumer. We are the victims of consumer society. The modern generation, the young generation of kids growing up, Greta Thunberg and co, they're, that's a whole different ball game. And these brands know it. And they know that they're going to have a lot of trouble in the future because when those kids grow up, they're not going to care about all of these brands that we cry after. Oh, Chanel, another price increase. Give it another 10 years. The kids that are growing up now are going to be like, Chanel who? Price increase, who's Chanel? What? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're the idiots that are crying about it because we're into this. But Chanel has no power over the upcoming generation. Sure, there's going to be a couple of losers raised in money, kids that are, you know, at the age of 10 already have the Chanel, but they're going to grow up believing that's status symbol. But the vast majority of people are not going to care anymore. And so instead of kind of trying to better yourselves, what you do is allegedly make little agreements behind the scenes with Instagram to delete accounts. Heaven forbid were to use your hashtag too often, Chanel. No. No. I'm not here for it. Not at all. So Chanel, you can keep your price increases and shove them where the sun don't shine. And the sun don't shine inside of your bags because nobody going to buy them. Nobody going to open them. So they're going to remain dark on the inside. Get your minds out of the gutter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm just leaving it there for you. Just dropping a little turd in the middle of the room. And whichever dog wants to come and sniff it and lick it first, be my guest. Until next time, <laughs> never forget to never give up on fabulous love, darling. Mwah.